Hey guys, Nukem here, and I'm gonna show you how to change an air filter into your Tesla Model 3. I have the 2021 Refresh Edition, but the filters are the same. The only thing different is just the front filter. So I'm gonna actually upgrade to HEPA filters since there's a lot of wildfires in California, and you know, there's a lot of debris and ashes. I just think it's better to have a HEPA filter so it's a little bit more clean when you breathe the air. And then we're also gonna get rid of that uh, mutary mustard type of smell that just smells like, like a wet clothes or wet laundry in your car. Uh, it happened to our car after uh, about having six months. So we're, this is called Cool It. It basically cleans all the coils and gives you that freshest smell and remove the odor, odors. And uh, it just makes everything a lot more clean in your system. So this is this is the one by X Technor. I'll put a link to everything below. So the whole cost of this is around $80, about $80. So it comes with two HEPA filters right here. You can see the charcoal in front and then the HEPA filter in front. And then it comes with a couple key tools to help you remove some items just to be able to get the old filter out. Should have one more piece right here? Yes. And this helps remove the screws. So this takes off the panel and this removes the screw. So let's go ahead and head to the Tesla. All right, so first we're gonna do the front fil filter to check out the hood of the car. So this is very easy. This is just all button press. So you just go ahead and lift up, it comes right off. Fun fact, this is where you fill in for more windshield wiper fluid. Uh, you don't need to remove this cover, but this, as you can see, is just stick on right there. So this is where your air sucks in the car. Now, I personally don't like to put a air filter right here because it just makes the car require more energy and it drains your battery. It's just harder on your air conditioner. You put a filter here. So if you have like leads and you don't think this is enough, what you can do is just buy like a grill where it still stay airflow and just uh, make sure inside's clean there's no leaves you can actually take this top part off it's held by pins and you can get deeper into it right now i already wiped it down and there's no leaves in it and i live in california so i don't have to really worry about it then we'll just snap it back in place yep it's just here a couple snapped there we go and it's just back in like that all right now let's actually change the actual air filter inside where you're actually breathing Okay, we're at the passenger side. So first thing what we want to do is turn off the air. What you can do is secret trick is just hold the air button and it actually turns off. You don't have to click it and click turn off air. That's one of the uh, neat things. Go ahead and hand me a camera. I want to show them. Okay. So here underneath the dashboard, you got some nodes right here and it's already, you can see it's already pre-loosened, but the air filter's in here, but we have to make sure there's room that doesn't get caught underneath the dashboard right here. As you can see. Record. Okay, so you just have to pull these tabs down. I just cut my fingernails, so it's a little bit hard, but just pull it down like that. It should be sticking halfway out. looks like this one's already coming apart uh, before I even do that. Okay, then you can just use this little tool, pull it down. Just make sure you don't lose these tabs. You can put it in the cup holder. Okay. okay, it just comes off like this. Now make sure... You can detach these wires. These are to the lights and the speakers, or you can just leave it and kind of turn it in a way where it saves up to you of how you want to do it. Pull, yep, okay, you just pull it. Okay, we just pulled that one. So there, you can put it like that. So the easiest way I found it, since after we remove this, we can just grab to the very top corner and pull it out, and that already loosens a lot of the bolts. And we'll just go down gently. You can just hear it snapping off. There we go. Try my best not to break any of these uh, snap-ons. All right, here we go. As you can see, it's just all snap-on right there. So we'll put this in the back. Okay, let me get a close-up there. So this is where your actual air filter is located. And there's a little screw that I'm gonna uh, unscrew and show you. And then there's a screw at the bottom here. Two. So there's two screws. Okay, now we're on there. I took off the cover. Now you can see these tabs. Make sure the tabs on the top when you take it out. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull it. There's one tab here on the bottom. There we go. So this is the back side of the filter. Let's actually take a look. Yeah. That's the front of the filter. That's what we've been breathing in. Ooh, sorry, my hand's shaky. Dirty. Okay. And then there's actually one more underneath. So what we're gonna do is pull this tab up, pull it up, and we're just gonna grab and then pull it out. And whoa, 
there you go that is our two filters what do you think babe this is what we've been uh breathing in yeah pretty gross look yeah. at the seeds and stuff in it yeah there's seeds and that's from all the outside stuff so this is oh wait yeah so you can actually see that right there mm -hmm. Now this is where the coolant can comes. This will actually clean the metal grills. You can buy on Amazon, put a link below. Okay, so the grill is located inside facing us. So I, I'm not actually gonna show it to you. Maybe I can, my wife can hold it while I screw it. So I spray it. I'm just gonna spray it randomly in there. See if you can get a good shine here, babe. Mm -hmm. uh, just put it in there and I'm just gonna spray it. Spray it randomly, I'm not even gonna look. So I'm gonna do it just through here randomly. I'm not even gonna look. And then this is this is actually gonna drain out to the bomb car, so don't do it in your garage. Okay, so I sprayed it for uh, until the can was empty. I went ahead and put my cap back on. No filters are in yet. It's still wet in there. I just put the little screw there, just hold it in place. And then I just turned on my car, and I'm just gonna put it on low for just one for 15 minutes, just so all the air dries out, so the air comes in and it actually smells a lot cleaner. It smells like mint. So, so it's good that we didn't spray it in under a garage or that coolant stays under there or just keep a pan. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so all the air coolant should be done. We're gonna turn off our air. Okay, take off the bottom screw. Okay. So then we want this facing us. So it will go through the filter here and then we have the charcoal right here. Make sure this tab is facing up so you can easily pull it out. So I'll go ahead and just push it in. Okay. Just make sure we get that good seal. Okay. First one's gonna go bottom. Okay. Oh, it's like a VHS cartridge. It is like a VHS cartridge. Okay. Then this is the second one. One push down a little bit more. Okay, the foam's in there. Want this tab kind of out there. Well, once I remove the top one, the bottom tab should be easy. Okay. 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 Secure the foam in there. You get a good seal. Then we're just gonna go ahead and close this up right here. In, and then we're going to put the screw in. Should be just like that. Okay. And then we're just going to reverse engineer everything. Snaps like you're going to the chiropractor. Okay, that's in. Yeah, I'm All right guys, so that's how you change a Tesla Model 3 air filter uh, to a HEPA one. It shouldn't take more than 15 minutes to half an hour. It's pretty simple. Just put everything back and you get a nice fresh smelling car and then you get all that musty old smell out and you can see how dirty the old filters were compared to the new one. All right, we have plenty more Tesla videos like how to put a, a spoiler on a car. Our car didn't come with it. We add a spoiler, how we did a wrap on top so be sure to subscribe channel and check out our other tesla videos that you might guys enjoy well thank you so much you're welcome dear